Hi my name is Liz Malagon from University 101, Section 42 and I will be talking to you about Proposition 38 and the pros and cons about it. First of all, Election Day already passed, so I hope you all did your duties. If you are 18 years or older, I really hope you were civically engaged and voted because it really can make a difference. Moving on, Proposition 38 will fund schools K-12, through preschools, and child care. Some of it will also go towards the state debt. Prop 38 makes schools a priority again. We are ranked 47th nationally out of 50 states. Since 2008, $20 billion have been cut from our schools. If this passes, Sacramento politicians will not be able to touch the money. It would only be used for what it says it will. State tax would increase from 0.4% to 2.2% for 12 years. If this is passed, there is no going back. It will stay in effect for 12 years and that is a major disadvantage because if it doesn't work out, we would not be able to change it. Another disadvantage is that some people do not want the taxes to increase because they are already increasing for other votes and they would just rather not vote on something that will raise taxes this high. To wrap all of this up, this is just a commercial to inform you about what Proposition 38 is. It is not to choose a side. That is all up to you. People have different perspectives on certain things and this is one of them. There might be another proposition that is way better than Prop 38. Just remember, you can make a difference. So next time election day comes around, remember to hit the polls. Thank you, and have a great rest of your day.